hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of a if we have a cubed divided by a is equals to 0 and we solve this problem uh, for all the values of a uh, so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are a solution of this equation and which of the roots are extraneous root uh, so also uh, I will explain the term extraneous root at the end of this video see so please watch complete the video uh, and now uh, further we solve this problem for two methods I hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so here we move towards our uh, first method uh, and now here in the first method uh, we just use here uh, the nice uh, fractional exponential law okay you know about that if we have uh, a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n if uh, two numbers are divided by each other and its bases are same then we subtract its exponents so we move this n to the upsides and it will be written as a to the power of m minus n so according to this uh, rule so here uh, when you apply this rule you just remember one thing in your mind is that uh, we just move the lowest exponent or smaller exponent towards the largest exponent okay you remember uh, this thing in your mind and now we compare the exponent of these two terms and you see here the exponent of denominator term is one exponent of numerator term is three so smaller exponent is one and larger is three so we move one towards three so after applying uh, this exponent law we write here our above uh, in quadrant above equation as a to the power of 3 minus 1 is equals to 0 and now you see here uh, this is uh, 3 minus 1 becomes a square is equals to 0 and uh, here in order to find the value of a we need to remove the square root sign for this we will take a square root on both of the sides so when you take the square root do you see here these two and the square root are gone uh, and uh, we will get here the value of a is equals to zero we know that the square root of zero becomes zero so in the first method we get here uh, only one root of the given equation uh, here further in the next step uh, we need to verify that is this root uh, satisfied over given question statement or this is the solution or extraneous root so for verification of the root we need to copy down given question statement here it is a cubed divided by a is equals to zero this is the our given question statement and here we substitute the value of a is equals to 0 in the numerator as well as denominator side so when you put this value it will be written as 0 cubed divided by 0 is equals to 0 and now you see here 0 cubed becomes 0 divided by 0 is equals to 0 and you see here 0 over 0 is usually called the uh, indeterminate form okay uh, so here we just say that it is the indeterminate form or uh, in other words we say that it is undefined form or it is undefined so if this is uh, undefined form which means that both of the sides are not equal for the values of a so this means that or our conclusion about the value of a is equals to zero is that uh, a is equals to 0 uh, be the extraneous root of the given equation because uh, a is equals to 0 is not satisfied our given question statement so that we call this is the extraneous root and you see here uh, we just get only one root of the given equation uh, and that is uh, not satisfied our given question statement so this means that the value of a is extraneous root and finally the final conclusion about this question is that it has uh, no solution okay this question has no solution also i can explain the term extraneous root or solution we explain the difference between these two terms uh, so 
the root which which is satisfied over given question statement is called the solution of the given equation and the roots which does not satisfy our given question statement is called the extraneous root so in this question we have is equals to zero be the extraneous root uh, so this is our final answer uh, in first method and now we move towards our second method and in second method we need to uh, copy down given question statement here it is a cube divided by a is equals to zero and here in this method we just use the uh, smart way to find the uh, roots of a uh, so if you focus in the right hand side uh, then you see here uh, the denominator of this term is 1 uh, so this means that here we will uh, cross multiply the terms when you cross multiply the terms we multiply 1 with a cubed equals to we multiply a with 0 we get here 0 times of a and further in the next step we have this is a 1 times of a cubed is equals to a cubed and 0 times of a is equals to 0 uh, so here you get uh, a cubed is equal to 0 so uh, in order to remove this cube sign we need to take the cube root on both of the sides so when you take cube root it will be written as in this form this 3 and this uh, cube root are gone and we get here the value of a is equals to 0 so this is the uh, value of a which we get here in the first method uh, and this is the our final answer of this question uh, and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos but here you know that a equals to zero uh, is not satisfied over a given question statement so a equals to zero uh, be the extraneous root and it, it, this question has no solution